Hi, my name is Russell Stallard. This is teachertrainingvideos.com and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to create an interactive button or an interactive hotspot area on your screen so that when the users are watching your video, it, suddenly the video will stop and you will ask the, the users to click on a certain part of the screen and then the video will continue. So it's really a way of creating a bit of interaction with your users just to make sure that they're following you, following what you're talking about and therefore know exactly where to click. When they click on the right part of the screen, the video will continue. So let me quickly show you how you can do that. So what I need to do is to go down to annotations, click on annotations, and then you'll find that there is a one annotation that says interactive hotspot. And I'm going to click on that. Now, if I double click on it, it will come up onto the screen and you'll see that it's automatically added to the timeline on a different track, on an additional track. And what we can do now is just shape that over the area that we want to make clickable. And in this case, the only area that we want clickable is if you click here on new recording. So we've now added the button. We can decide how long we want that button to actually be on the screen for. Um, so what we can do here is just make sure that we, it's kind of sitting on for the period of time that the, um, there we are, that will do, we'll just take it up to about there. Okay, so we've chosen the period of time that the interactive button will now be on the screen and we've marked the area. All we now need to do is to look at the properties because there are a couple of very important properties that we want to focus on. So as you can see, I'm inside Camtasia and I've got a video here on the timeline and what I want the uh, user to do is that when the video starts, I want them to click on the correct button that will open up a new project. Now, of course, that is pretty easy in this particular case, but I'm just trying to demonstrate this in a very simple way. So I want the video to stop at this point and then the user to click on this area here so that the video will then continue. So how do I do that? Now, the first thing that we're going to set here in the properties is paused at end. In other words, that the video will pause and wait for some type of interaction. And the next thing that I want to happen is that in fact we'll leave it for now in this particular example is click to continue and that means that the video will simply continue now there are other options it could be click and then go to a website and i could click here and add the name of a website in and i can actually have that open in a new browser so a new window will open so the video will still stay on the screen but a new window will open with the name of a website uh, will open up in, in this particular case. We could also move to a marker. So if we add a marker to the screen, uh, if we had markers on the, on the screen, uh, to add a marker you press Control or Shift M, uh, then the video will, or the video player will move directly to that marker. Markers, you normally set markers at the end of a video. So this would then perhaps jump to the next video in the line. Another possibility is to actually send it to a particular point in the video. So you could, for example, look here and say, right, I want the video to now, as soon as I click on marker, to jump to this point, which would be uh, 1 minute 24 seconds. And I would add 1 24 in here, and then the video would jump to that particular point. I'm not going to do any of those. I'm simply going to make the video continue. So I'm going to choose this as the option. And then what we can do is we can see now if that works. Now one important thing to remember before we produce this video is that we also need to add the instructions because otherwise the video will stop and the user might not know what to do. So make sure that you've got another track on your uh, timeline and you can just right click and insert track if you need to do that. Go to annotations, this time though click on the first one which brings up some text and drag with the playhead in the right position at the end of the video, drag this onto the screen somewhere and this will be the instructions for the user now in fact in our case we probably just want to bring that back there okay and just double click now to write inside the area so what i'm going to put here is click on the record button to continue and notice nicely that the video or the text size will just resize uh, to adjust to fit into the box that you set i'm going to set that sort of as a long 
piece of text I'm just going to put that underneath there okay and that will actually show up along with the video before the video stops the video will stop at that point so now it's time to actually produce the video so let's go to share and click on we'll do it on local file that will work fine as a button one thing to understand is it's no good just simply producing a video a video does not hold the information for this additional interactivity that we've included in other words we need to create a video with a smart player so if you click down here you should find that you've got for example the same size videos uh, but this time with the smart player I'm going to choose the medium size video I'm going to click on that going to click on next I obviously need to give the video a name so we're going to call this hotspot test and then I'm going to save this onto the desktop I'm going to allow it to produce these additional uh, folders because that will mean that everything is kept inside a folder click on the next button and the video will now be produced and let's just wait a few minutes and then we're going to see the output so I'll, I'll turn the video off and we'll come back in a second okay so the video is all done we can click on the button here and the video will start playing but actually what we want to do is really okay, just come straight to the point where the video so we're going to just move this uh, here I'm going to go straight to the point where the video becomes a hotspot so if we move along here and then suddenly we'll just scrub in along the video here watching it we come to this point let's just start the video from this point here what should happen is the video should stop at a certain point there should be some instructions on the screen and it should wait for me to click before it continues let's see if it works about Camtasia normally what we do is that we think of it in terms of two um, two kind of tools so I'm gonna click on new project you could click on okay so obviously it didn't stop at the right point I should have been a bit more careful about exactly where I paused the video because it kind of uh, paused mid me talking but that's okay let's check if it actually works on new and there it does. absolutely on new perfectly as soon as I click on it it continues on the video so that's how you can create a hotspot remember when you create a hotspot you either need to comment and say can you now click on blah 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 so include it in your actual commentary as you're making the video or do what I did which was to add uh, a kind of bit of text onto the screen that tells the user what to do. Really hope those videos were useful to you. I really hope you found those videos useful. Uh, if you go to teachertrainingvideos.com, there are lots more videos. There's a newsletter that you can sign up to uh, where I update you with the new videos that I've added to the site. If not, just close the window down Go to the section that probably you'll find the most interesting will be on Camtasia training. Now you'll notice that actually I'm a Camtasia recommended trainer for, from, from TechSmith Camtasia. You'll find that there's lots of training videos on the website about using Camtasia. And also if you wanted, there's also the option to either download a trial version of Camtasia and you can also buy an educational version of Camtasia from the teachertrainingvideos.com website. But remember, all the training videos that are on this website are free. If you wanted to learn to create quizzes, for example, there's a set of videos there. Really hope you find the videos useful and thank you ever so much.